Okay, I wanted to share with you all three of my favorite items. Everybody who owns a dog, actually if you own any animals, you should have in your little doggy case. Carry with you. I, I have one of these in my car. I have one in the Enzo's van. I have them in at our facility. We live by these three items. If you only had three in your medicine kit, these would be my top three. In no special order. The first one is anything that is this brand. This brand. Uh, Vetrison. Anything that's this brand. Anything top, like top, top. Now, a little cue to it though. If you want to save a little bit of money, get it in the bigger size. And if you want to save a little bit of money, get it at the farm store. So get it at your local farm store. Um, this for years was only sold at farm stores and then like higher end pet stores figured it out how good it was and so they've upped the prices. You can also get it on Amazon, um, but if you get it at the farm store, um, get it in the large animal section and it's all the same stuff. It just, it's awesome. So I know this one says pink eye spray. It's not just for pink eye. Lots of times your dogs get stuff. We have turf here, so maybe dogs get turf in it. We can rinse their eye with it. It's antimicrobial, so it eats away at the bad stuff. It doesn't hurt the good stuff. So many eye washes and washes in general um, take away the good stuff too. This doesn't, leaves the good flora in there. Um, so we have it for wound care, for everything. I mean, they do sell it for like different. This one's a little bit thicker, it's more jelly. And then this one is more of a spray. They're all the same. It's just a different consistency, um, but they are. Um, now, I have actually burnt my hand before. Use this, it was the greatest thing. I don't use any of the other gels or ointments anymore. This is what we use. Your dog gets a hot spot, your dog gets anything. It is antimicrobial, so it helps clean and you can just flush it with it. I'm telling you, it's great stuff. Get it, keep it in your medicine cabinet for you, for your dogs, for your cats, for everything. The second thing I would get is, I would always have a box of this on hand. Um, we keep ours in the fridge, although anymore you don't have to. You can get this at the farm store, but um, dogs get a lot of eye, eye gooeys. So my dogs, um, you know, I live on a farm. So if they, if they even just get something in their eye, it will create like a little, almost like an infection, but it's not infection. It's not like they don't need antibiotics. It's not like that. Not talking about a vet thing. So it's just a little gel ointment. I'm telling you, it'll clear it up right away. If your dogs have allergies, it is just a great thing to help clear up kind of eye boogies and stuff like that. Um, so if you've already rinsed it with this and they still have it, use this. Dogs get colds in their eyes all the time and it's, it's viral. It's not nothing that you have to go to the vet over. And third, but definitely probably my favorite thing. I, I should own stock in this company. I should own this company. I should have created this company. I have a dog who is chronically getting used to get ear infections. What do you do when your dog gets an ear infection? You take them to the vet. What happens? The vet goes in, they clean out their ear, they get all that gra gross stuff out, and then they put them on antibiotics, one kind, maybe two kinds of antibiotics. They give you rinses, they give you washes. You do all these things for your dogs. And then, whew, you think it goes away. And then two weeks after they're off the antibiotics, boom, their ears flare up again. So why does this happen? Well, I am not a vet. Like I tell people all the time, I just play one on TV. So why it happens, and my vets over the years have explained this to me, is because every time you wash a dog's ears or anything like that, that's internal like that, yes, you get out all the bad flora, but you also are wiping out all the good stuff. And unfortunately, the bad stuff and the good stuff, the bad stuff eats all the good stuff. And the bad stuff is stronger than the good stuff, which is why they get that overabundance and they end up getting the ear infection. So we no longer, I do not let any vets clean. I have one German Shepherd. It's always her right ear. Um, had to think about that for a sec. It's always her right ear and I'll notice she'll start shaking her head. Now, again, I live on a farm. They're in and out of the water. She's not really a water dog, but she does. She's just my dog. She gets, she has some allergies and she gets this ear infection in this right ear. Not a full blown infection, but as soon as she starts shaking, this is my magic. First of all, stop cleaning your dog's ears out. Stop doing it. Stop rinsing them. Stop doing all that. If you have dogs who go in water or anything like that, or dogs who are prone to getting ear infections, this is the magic. It is the magic. And if you haven't found it yet, you should keep this on hand. I actually have clients who have used this on their personal, on humans. I haven't because I don't get ear infections, but heck, if you do, this is the this is this is the holy grail 
of, if you only have one thing in your cabinet, well, I love the other two products too, but this one, you know, if you've ever come to me and your dog gets ear infections, I might get them on this. So my female shepherd, Abby, I put it in her ear and it is kind of funny. And then, you know, you rub it in. I never wipe out her ears. It will naturally flow within a day or two. Whatever was bugging her in there is gone. Again, I, I notice, you know, she's German Shepherd. She's got big flappy ears. She starts to flapping. Anyway, this is great. Zymox, purple one. I don't know what it says on it. Ear solution. It's great. Again, antimicrobial, eats away all the bad bacteria, but also feeds the good flora. Will not wash away the good flora. I'm telling you, it works and it helps the ears work. I mean, they're supposed to drain anyway. It helps them drain, okay? Um, quit washing your dog's ears. Stop it. For those of us, like stop, stop, stop. Um, anyway, this is it. Those are my top three things. And here's a little bonus. If you stay till the end, here's a bonus. I'll give you a bonus because I have this here because I was going to do a dog's nails. If you're going to do this to your dog, make sure you have this, okay? Any kind of, um, this is Safari, but any kind of um, this powder, because if you clip your dogs quick, you want to be able to stop it bleeding. This stuff is magic. Um, I literally have this waiting because if I'm going to do this, I know I might get somebody and I do the Hail Mary. They don't. So this is a little bonus, but these other three things, I'm telling you, get them, get them, get them. Love you guys.